Welcome back to the shooting channel. And this one is the top budget guns of 2021. And I've picked five guns that are 500 pounds or less that we've reviewed on this channel that I feel is a great starter gun for somebody that hasn't got a great deal of money to invest into the sport. And as I've said in previous films, it's all about setting yourself a budget and working with that budget. So I've picked five guns that we reviewed over 2021 that I feel is great guns and should be looked at if you've only got under 500 pounds to spend. My first one is the Lamba. Now Lamba is a gun that was really fantastic probably 20 years ago. Unfortunately, Lambo is no longer in business anymore. But when they were, do, when they were out, these guns were about 600 pounds new. And they were really, really reliable guns. Okay. They're a little bit low in the comb. But if you're looking at a gun that you are only, you've only got 300 pounds to spend, and you want a reliable, good gun, this is a really, really fantastic gun. Okay, as I've, as I've said when I, was, when I was reviewing this, the trigger balls are a bit heavy. They're fixed choke. They're pretty basic guns, but they're fantastic guns if you've only got a budget to spend. So that is the Lamba, and they do this in the Sporter, or they do it in a game gun. This particular one is a game gun, I like, do like the game gun versions because they are a little bit lighter. So that is the Lamba Sporter or game gun. And then I've got the Winchester. I've got a Winchester here. And this is the older Winchesters. I know Brown and do do new Winchesters now, but these are the older Winchesters. And again, they do 101s. They do all sorts of different models in this. But again, they're another gun. The combs are a little bit higher on these. As I said, they don't recoil a lot. In, in my review of these, they don't recoil a great deal. They're just a really good all-round gun for under 500 pounds. This is probably pushing your budget a little bit closer to 500, but it's well and truly in what I would call my top 2021 budget guns. And then you've got an old Maruku. Now, Obviously, in my, in my guns, my more expensive guns, you can pick a real old Maruku up for four or 500 pounds. Definitely one gun that I would say is well and truly in my top of my budget guns. This is a gun, obviously we all know Maruku has been around for a long, long time. It's a name that is always gonna be on top. Don't forget, they are one of the guns that they're the only off-the-shelf gun to win Commonwealth and World Medals. Okay, they're another one that's quite low in the comb. So again, like the Winchester, this is probably your top end of your 500 pound mark bracket, but you can find an old Baruku's for 500 pounds or less. And then I've got to put it in. I've hopped into this video to bring some exciting news. The Shooting Channel will be attending the Oxford Gun Company's Festival of Shooting on the 3rd of September. And our plan is to have a huge screen, have the partners that have been involved in the shooting channel and bring to you in person everything that we have shown you on this shooting channel over the last couple of years. The Festival of Shooting has been going for now nearly 10 years. Okay, it had a break because of COVID, but it's now gonna come back bigger and better. And the Shooting Channel, we are asking all of our viewers, whether you're overseas, whether you're UK, wherever you are, to come and enjoy the Festival of Shooting, incorporating the Shooting Channel. So if there's anyone out there that would like to see anything at the Festival of Shooting from the Shooting Channel, please comment below and we are looking forward to seeing all you viewers out of the Oxygun Company on the 3rd of September. 
we will bring you more updates as we get closer. Thank you for watching, and we'll go back to the field now. My Bakel, there's thousands of these about. This one is actually, they've, this has got a bit more of a trap style stock on it. It's double trigger, but this is a gun that everyone has to have in their cabinet. You can pick these up for 150 pounds, 100 pounds, 50 pounds. I've got one of these for 50 pounds. So this is probably the cheapest of my top five budget guns. If you're looking for a gun to go and shoot a few foxes or bunny bashing or vermi control, this gun is in it. It's basic, it's double trigger, but it never falls apart. So that is my Bakel. They're always there and thereabouts in the budget guns. And then there's one gun I'm gonna put in this, which is actually a new gun. And I feel that they really deserve to come into this. They, they, this company does a gun in the budget range. They now do a gun that is right up there in the sort of 2000 pound bracket. And they do a sort of mid range gun. They're a gun company that I think over the last few years has really, really come on. And that is the Yield It's. This is actually just over 500 pounds. This is a 20 gauge, but you can pick these up for 500 pounds, 450. This is a new one that's just over 500 pounds. And this is a gun. If you're looking for a gun to start your son or daughter up, Yield It's started themselves as the gun for juniors. Have a look at yield it's before you have a look at anything else. And you can get a new gun for just over 500 pounds. And out of all of them, these are probably the highest in the comb. So if, you're, if you've got your son or daughter that's quite tall, they've got a nice recoil pad on there so they're really soft. They're multi-choke. You cannot, you cannot knock this gun. And this is the 20 gauge and this is in my budget guns. So there we have it. You have five guns that there's something there for everyone from 50 pounds right up to 500, 550 pounds with the yield it's in there as well. So you've got five fantastic value for money guns that anyone can start off and it, they make it affordable for people to shoot. So I have done the top 2020 guns of my choice. I've done the top three guns and I've now done the top five budget guns that I feel if you can't afford a great deal and you don't want to invest a lot of money into it, look at these five guns. But don't forget, come to your local shooting school and go and ask the experts what they feel is the best gun. And any decent shooting school, will let you try these guns. And try and find a shooting school that has a gun shop part of the shooting school. Not that has a gun shop that's separate to a shooting school. Go and try, go to a shooting school. There's lots all over the country that is combined and has a gun shop that is all belongs in one site. Because then they will let you try it. If you go to somewhere that the gun shop is completely separate, they might not let you try it. Find yourself a shooting school that really wants to work with the customer, with the shooter, to encourage that shooter to get into the sport. Any information you'd like to find out about any of these guns, or if there is anyone out there that's looking for a shooting school that wants to go to it around the country, please comment below, and Alex will do his best to comment and find a right place. Or email Alex at contact us at the shooting channel.co.uk. I hope you've enjoyed this program. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you've enjoyed my pick of the top 2021 guns from expensive guns right the way down to budget guns. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.